Good afternoon from Groovy Eggs Farm. I am Jeff. Today is Saturday, the 27th, 26th. I've been busy. I'm not keeping uh, keeping track. Uh, it is still vlogist. I am still doing a video every single day. Uh, weather today, it got up to 90 when the sun was out, but then the clouds came in, so now it's about 85. Not much of a breeze right now. We did have a little bit earlier, so... Eh, yeah, it was hot and sweaty earlier, and it's uh, not as quite hot and sweaty right now. Hey, you want to watch me clean these uh, pop-up brooders? Too bad. I'm going to show you anyway. That was a lot of fun, huh? Let's go take a look at these brooders. All right, I have two of these smaller ones and the bottoms of these are solid. They don't come out. And they do have one window there on the side. Um, so you can spray it and all the stuff comes out of there. And yeah, not bad. This is a bigger one. On this one, the bottom does come out. And you would think that would be a uh, feature and not a bug, but it's kind of a bug because stuff gets caked up in the uh, in the zipper and you got to clean that zipper so you can anyway. But still uh, very useful. These will not be my forever brooders. I'll hopefully have some more durable ones, but these will last a year at least. And even then if I patch them up, I can uh, get longer out of them like those two need to be patched up and uh, I could probably get some more time out of them also what I use on the bottom of these are they're like it's like a cardboard uh, pad and they'll last a week depending on how many chicks and how old they are but uh, yeah and then you can just replace these you know when when needed and then uh, when you're done you can uh, hose down the the brooders good deal while those pop-up brooders are drying I'm gonna get their food and water ready and I'm gonna plug in their heater plates so they are already warmed up and they will be ready for me to start bringing some baby chicks out here uh, later probably tonight but uh, I might as well grab a few out of the incubator and have you take a look at them
nice breeze coming through right now. It might even be hitting my uh, my beard here. I don't know about the wind noise. Still testing that out. Uh, yeah, a lot of baby chicks. I'll have a, a number tomorrow. I won't have a final number. I usually wait a couple days, make sure no more of them hatch. But uh, most of those will be going to a new home tomorrow. And so I don't know how many extras there are going to be, but there will be extras. Uh, the um, Olive Eggers, I got at least three of those have hatched. And uh, the Wellsmer, I'm definitely keeping those. I know I got some Whiting True Blue uh, uh, excess uh, over what the order was. And I should have some Moran's extra. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to be prepared for that. Get those brooders ready. And, uh, yeah, so most of those, maybe half. I don't know. We'll see how many end up hatching. Oh, some really cute ones. I'm uh, getting some good varieties out of the white and true blues. I'm a little surprised about that. So, um, you know, I've been raising white and true blues for years, but I had a mixed flock. I had two mixed flocks. And, uh, and they're, they are not one set feather color and feather pattern. They are, they can be pretty much any feather color and feather pattern. So what I've, uh, this year is the first year that I tried it and I haven't raised any yet because I've been in the process of moving and all that stuff. So this year I separated the duck wings and the blue hens. Um, I've got a duck wing rooster. I think it's a silver base. I'm learning all this feather color genetic stuff. And I don't know, that white and true blue rooster, he's got some barring on him. He's got some gold around the neck, like a creel. And then he's got some blue feather colors. So I do not know what all is going on with him. So I'm excited to raise some of these baby chicks and see what they look like. And I'm also getting a hint of, uh, of what they're gonna look like from Country Road Cure. Anthony and Roxanne uh, let me hang out with their chickens for about an hour. <laughs> Oh, it was fun. And uh, so I'm sitting there trying to guess, okay, who's your mommy and daddy? And who's your mommy and daddy? And because uh, I did, I hatched theirs before I separated them into duck wing and blue. Um, but I still had duck wing and blue within the, uh, within the me mixed up uh, feather color uh, flocks. So yeah, this is all exciting for me. I wish I could speed up time and uh, have all these little baby chicks hurry up and uh, at least get to, by like three, four months old, you're pretty sure what their, what their end up color is gonna look like, but they still have a lot of growing to do after that. Okay, I think that is all for this Saturday. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got baby chicks going outside, out of the incubator, out into the brooder tent in the pop-up brooders, and I'm good to go. Thanks for watching. It has been a hectic and busy August and I'm still enjoying it. So thanks for sticking with me. Take it easy.